Okay, so in this section, we're talking about traditional publishing versus self-publishing. And chances are, with you taking this course, you're going to do one or the other, and you're trying to figure out which way to go. First, we're going to talk about traditional publishing. Traditional publishing is when you write a manuscript, you seek out a publisher, they pick up your book, and they publish it. You really don't have to worry about that. You sign a contract and you'll see royalties as they come in, right? So let's talk about that. Once your book is complete for traditional publishing, once your book is complete, you will, you will need a query letter. This is very important because you have to query the publishers or the agents. And in all honesty, more than likely the publisher is not going to take it without the agent. So you're probably going to have to query the agent first who's going to market your work to the publisher. It's really hard to get the major publishing companies to view your work without an agent. So focus on agents. <laughs> they are your friend and we will get into that later. But with traditional publishing, pretty much they take your handbook. I'm sorry, not your handbook. They take your manuscript. They have the best editors, proofreaders, designers on hand. They're going to make they're going to turn this manuscript into a product, into a book for you. They're going to give you marketing. They're going to they're going to do everything. They'll probably set up your book signings at Barnes and Noble at different events everywhere. They'll probably put you on a book tour more than likely because their interest is definitely getting their money back for taking you on. Um, you should do, if you want to do traditional, I think you should definitely look into do your research, pick a publishing company or aim for a publishing company that is good at publishing your genre of book. Um, and it, it takes a lot of research. You never know. You never know what they're into at the moment. So research a couple of them. Uh, you have to go over contracts. You need to know what you're signing. Definitely, I think you should have a lawyer present before you sign a contract. Or have, even if they're not present, maybe you can have a lawyer overlook the contract. Just to make sure it's a fair contract and you're getting everything that you want in that contract. Um, Sometimes, and contracts are different with traditional publishing. They might give you a lump sum up front, you know, and pay you, give you an advance for your book. You've heard of that. And with the hopes <laughs> that this book will make X amount of numbers and X amount of dollars. And then, or you might work on a royalty end, whereas they'll take your book on and see how sales go. And you'll start to get checks from your sales later on, depending on the numbers or how your book produces. Um, well, neither way, I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever you choose to do, just make sure you do your research if you want to go the traditional publishing route. 